post op. There's Gil. He's uh, wore out from taking care of me. I'm not the easiest person in the world. <laughs> wore out being for a walk too. Yep, we all just went for a walk, and I'm feeling real good. And the dogs went, and little old great aunt Sissy over there, and she's wore out too with Pippa. And Kendall's in her bedroom, if you can hear her, on the phone with um, mom, stepmom, who we call mom, and the kids. And um, everybody's doing really good today. We're getting ready to put some food on the grill, and. Man, I tell you what, five days post op from uh, for this for two level spinal fusion. I'd say I'm feeling pretty darn good. You know, I got pain. But that's to be expected. But man, I got nothing but positive things to say this time. Last time was unfortunate. I had all these complications. But, you know, that happens. Um, but I'm feeling real good. And I just wanted to put it out there. Day five is a good day. So I woke up in a lot of pain because I went without my pain medicine for a long time, which says a lot that I was able to sleep six hours straight with no nothing in me. Um, when I am currently prescribed uh, instant release uh, oxycodone every two hours, and I don't need to take it like that. So um, probably won't be long that I'll be weaning back. Then when I go see the doctor on July second, I guarantee it he'll he'll. Sp pull that back a little bit because he doesn't want me to take high amounts of uh, pain medicine. He's always been that way and he's been known to just wean me back and wean me back and wean me back and until he can get me off stuff. So anyway, um, as good as I'm feeling, man, I can't wait to see where I'm at by day 10, 15, 20. I mean, this is, this is pretty excellent. I've had some swelling in my feet and things like that, but compared to the way things were last time, I have nothing but good stuff to say, and hats off to my surgeon, Dr. John Grimm. He's a pretty good, pretty good surgeon. He's a good guy, and he's definitely, you know, he's a godly man. He's always saying he's praying for me, and last time when I had all the complications, he hugged me, and he told me I was his miracle baby, and you know that he really has true compassion for his patients, and he spends time. That's why it takes so long in his waiting room. <laughs> He's in a quality amount of time with his patients, and I'm grateful that I listen to my friends, especially mom, about going to Dr. Grimm. So, um, anyway, that's today, day five post-op. I may make another video later, just because I don't have anything else going on, and I'm feeling good. So, I'd like to keep you guys updated. And this is especially for the person out there that's wondering if they should do the surgery or not. Um, you know, think about your options, um, look into them. I tried all the, um, the injections and physical therapy and, and I did everything first. I, I gave everything a shot without surgery. Um, my last surgery, it did give me a lot of relief. And then I also, um, herniated another disc and had some failed stuff go on, go on too, which, you know, it happens. Um, but so far... So good, man, and I see nothing but brighter days. So just stay positive and um, keep researching and watching everybody's video blogs and stay up on what's going on and um, pray. Praying is the most important thing you can do. So thanks a lot. Bye.